This image looks like crap, but it's not what you see on my stream. I'm gonna show you how I get there in OBS with my A7 III settings and a little bit of help from some Leeming LUT magic. If you guys are interested in that, keep on watching. Let's get started. Now here's the thing, you can go one of two ways with this. You can go the budget route, and if you wanna go the budget route, we'll talk about that slowly at the end, but it's the same process for what we're gonna do for the expensive route. And this expensive route is 30 US dollars. Most people can afford that, but if you can't, there is a budget option that we will be talking about at the end. The $30 option is the Leeming LUT from Mr. Paul Leeming, and he is a legend, may I add. Uh, I don't know why I went with the British accent there, but he's phenomenal. He does uh, amazing work for color uh, in all sorts of different picture profiles, whether it's for Sony, Canon, anything, really. I think he does Panasonic, Fuji, stuff like that as well. Master colorist, and makes it so that your colors look more natural with a grade. So right now I'm shooting on HLG3. He also has profiles for Cine2, Cine4, and I believe SL or SLUG3. So if you guys want to check those out, you can download all of those LUTs for $30 for your specific camera on his website. I will link that down in the description below and it will take you right to where you can get those LUTs. Now, the question is, is how do you do that in OBS? Let me show you. So how we do that in OBS is you're going to go into your like webcam setting, right? And you are gonna go to your webcam group for me specifically and I'm gonna go to my cam link 4K. I'm gonna hit filters. It's gonna bring you this text box, right? Or this uh, information box. So you're gonna take it, and you see I already have the LUT applied, right? So you're gonna find out where the LUT is on your thing. Most of the time, I, I have a folder in like my content creation folder on my PC um, that's just dedicated solely for LUTs, and I have that in there. Now, you're gonna apply it, and it's gonna look beautiful. <laughs> Can I just say that this is beautiful? I've been applying different LUTs all day. This looks, this looks amazing. We're gonna switch back to my face now because it's pretty now. It's pretty, isn't it? It's so beautiful. It's delightful. So um, the thing that you have to know that you could notice with the difference between me and the previous image, and I'll just go through the effects right now, is unlike before, I'm slightly overexposed and I'm slightly green tinted. Now what the LUT does is it essentially color corrects to make the colors as accurate as possible to natural color. And so when you apply the LUT, it brings it down, crushes your highlights, and makes it so that your shadows aren't as noisy or dark. I'm gonna show you the, the, the darker portions of my set. It's over there, they're not as dark anymore. Sorry, I had caffeine for like the first time in like six hours and it's, it's, a, little, it's a little rough. So Paul Leeming also offers you uh, settings and stuff to make sure that you're properly exposed. Essentially, you wanna be about two stops overexposed so that you can crush things properly and like have zero noise. Like I'm talking, zero noise and this is just like a baseline image like technically i could add a little color correction on top of it to make it look whatever style that i want but it's the most natural look that i can get out of my camera with hlg3 i've done this with ethlog3 and slog2 and it works um just follow his steps he offers free guides once you purchase the luts and you can go pick those up and take his guides on how to properly expose to make this LUT look perfect i am about in one stop overexposed I'm not at 100% two stops overexposed, and I think I got the exact look that I was looking for. And I'm not trying to be like, cinematic movie, but I'm just trying to like get there so that the colors are accurate, because the problem I was having with grading it myself or applying LUTs from like Sony or other places is it was like enough to give me contrast, but like that's not enough for OBS. That's like enough to get you contrast and then you have to add like a whole color correction layer which yeah you can get plugins for on obs but that adds a lot more processing power to make sure that the entire image looks crisp when you could just slap a lead on it and never have to think about it again some people add sharpening and other things and other color corrections do that at your own risk i am just showing you how you can make an a7 III while also set up for making cinematic video and other things like that when you want a full-fledged edit and not have to worry about, okay, I'm gonna put it in standard profile now and just have the color I need and not have to worry about it. You can just have a LUT set up in OBS so you never have to worry about it again. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm probably just gonna point you back to Paul Lehman, so just use his resources if you have it. Um, if you don't, let's talk about, real quick, the one uh, cheap way that you can do this and kind of get away with it. Up to you guys. Huh. 
So here's a video how to use and color correct HLG footage. Uh, so I've watched I've watched this video a hundred thousand times. So I'm not gonna watch it again with you. You can if you want. Uh, he offers a free lot, which I've already downloaded because I was just seeing if I didn't have to spend the thirty dollars. I've literally been tinkering with it all day today. Uh, so that, that's been my life. How have you been? Uh, but he also offers the leaming lot and also a good color checker. Now color checkers are expensive. I totally understand if you don't want to buy a color checker. I use them all the time at work. They smudge very easily and they're just really cumbersome. Um, but frankly, they are the most accurate color that you can get and color correct correctly yourself. So uh, I highly recommend investing in that in the future, but that is definitely not a budget option thing. Uh, so he offers the Leeming LUTs, um, and then he offers a free LUT for you to use to get started. Uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like on mine, and then I'm going to give you another, like the Leeming LUT, and you can determine for yourself if you want base what's out of that camera uh, with that LUT, or you want base what's out of my camera with the Leeming LUT, and make your decision from there. All the resources will be linked below. Like and subscribe if you like this video, and then wait at the at the end here so you can see the image differences and okay that's it okay bye like and subscribe and comment and, and care about me and okay bye so this is currently the camera crisis LUT. I'm a little bit overexposed for camera crisis is LUT. Uh, so if you want to properly expose, just I would I would go flat zeros on your exposure compensation. This is what it looks like with my slightly overexposed image for the leaming LUT. Um, but you could easily take it down. Just to, I'm gonna I'm gonna and there you go. It looks pretty good when you take it down a stop. So I just threw my uh, aperture down a little bit just to show you guys. Um, but it looks pretty clean out of camera. It does the job. It might not do the job in every scenario, though, so be careful. The next image is going to be the Leeming LUT, which you've been seeing for the majority of the video already. And this is with the Leeming LUT. And again, this was professionally color matched to make sure that every possible color you can find in the HLG profile is matched correctly. It took a lot of time, a lot of work, which is why it costs money. But you have the other option if you want to use that. Both will be linked down below. If you guys want to check out um, Mark Bennett's channel, I highly recommend it. He's got really, really good videos. He offers a lot of good resources and stuff like that. He's how I learned about Paul Leeming and why you can see my beautiful face. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Get color correction. Can die. Bum, bum. Oh, I'm still fucking recording.